Hey friends, welcome to my page, DIY Crafts with Dar. How are you? Happy Saturday evening. Yeah, it's late. It's okay though. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this huge transfer. Remember this one? Remember this one? We're going to do it tonight. Okay, it's going to actually be easy. We're going to do it all black. I just want to do a simple classic, basically black and white, but we're going to actually use it's um, it's the equivalent to um, light buttermilk, but it's a different brand. So so this one is actually ceram coat and it's buttercream. So we're going to we're going to paint this and we're going to do a little bit of dry brushing a little bit. And then we're going to do this all in black. So just a classic one. Um, you could do all different colors. I just kind of like that look on something that big. I think not, I don't want too many colors in there. So this, I believe this is exactly like our size B transfer that we used to have. They did bring a few back and just make them different sizes. Like the small little one that we did the other day. It's, um, you know, it's a good thing because if we love them before, we'll love them again, right? So how is everybody? Happy Saturday. Okay, I had a few things going on. I will explain. Um, but if you're out there watching, just say hello so I know that you're watching. You'll know you're live if you see the red live button at the top. If you don't see the red live button, you're on the replay or Facebook messed up. <laughs> one or the other let me go ahead and share this over to my vip group while you guys say hello and we'll get started so it's been it's been a little bit of an eventful day today and i'll tell you all about it so um you know i told you that um marley's just getting so depressed and the last two days every time i open the front door she tries to run and I just can't go there. She She's like, she's trying to find Chloe. She's trying to find her sister. And she sits at that door and she's just so sad and depressed. I cannot, um, I can't let her go like that. So we did start looking for a friend for her. And um, last time when we found puppies, it took us a month before we could find one that was um, the right puppy or was available right away, anything like that. Um, when we, we looked and looked and looked to find Chloe, it took us forever. And then finally, remember, we found her and we met the guy in the Hobby Lobby parking lot. Yeah, I always say, yeah, I got, I got Chloe at Hobby Lobby. So um, in the pouring rain, in the pouring rain, sat in his really fancy car, the electric car, you know, that one, um, Tesla. And, and got to choose between Chloe and her sister, Chloe and her sister, Chloe and her sister. So anyways, we did find puppies, puppies, you know that we used to have five. Okay, so we used to have five dogs and I went everywhere with them. And sometimes I would take my daughter's dogs with me. I've been known to take eight dogs up to my cabin and walk them. <laughs> Yes. So we we were open to ideas of bringing in, you know, two little puppies for for Marley um, or bringing sisters or whatever we found. We actually found um, two little sisters that are just adorable. And we spent most of the day driving up to L.A. through horrible, horrible traffic and meeting with the family and um, adopting these two cute little fur babies. So that's why I'm late. <laughs> so it's good news. I don't really have pictures. One, one is really shy, kind of like Chloe was really shy and the other is really outgoing like Marley. So, so they both have different personalities, just like all dogs do. And one is, one is small like Marley. The one that, the one that's all friendly, um, is small like Marley. And the one that is, um, a little bit more shy is larger like Chloe was. So it's kind of, kind of interesting. Um, Marley's kind of trying to figure it out. She's been down there playing with them, but then she's older. So the puppies are four months old. So the puppies are four months old. They are Lasso Opso. Um, so they're, they're what, um, Chloe was part Lasso Opso, um, but mainly Shih Tzu. She was 51% Shih Tzu and then like 20 something percent Lasso Opso and Pekingese and Maltese. So she had all that in her. We started looking at the Lasso Opso because we couldn't find a Shih Tzu that um, we really, we would look that look at them and go, it's not the right one. It's not the right one. And then we found these Lasso Opso puppies up in of all places in LA, in Compton, which is really, it can be really a crime-ridden area. 
um, and we started communicating with the mama and um, we came to an agreement and we went and we were able to pick up the babies today. So anyways, we have two little fur babies in there playing. I will show you pictures. I'll show you the pictures that she posted. Um, and one of them, so the larger one that's more shy, has one blue eye and one brown eye. Yeah, and, and she's adorable. So that's that was my husband's favorite. The reason we got two guys is because my husband and I couldn't decide. There were seven puppies. Yeah, seven puppies. So we looked at them and we, we looked at all their pictures and we had decided before we went up there. And we were right. We were right on what we wanted. But he wanted one and I wanted another. And we decided, you know what? We've had multiple dogs before, and we're not replacing Chloe, not at all. If she comes home to us, which we're still searching, I have a friend out there that's sharing to um, lost dogs everywhere in California and Nevada and Arizona. You might even see it in your city if you're in any of those states. So she's sharing, 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 and we're going to probably offer an, a reward if we haven't heard anything by Tuesday or Wednesday. But I could not let Marley get more and more depressed, and that's what was happening. Happening. She was just sitting there all day, just looking out the window, waiting for Chloe to come back. So in the meantime, she's got sisters to play with and they are cute as can be. And I think you're going to love them. I'll show you pictures. So so the one that um, my husband picked out, he named her Riley, R-Y-L-E-I-G-H. So we're sticking with that. And then the little girl that, and they're both girls, they're both, but they're four months old. So they're not tiny, tiny. Um, they're, they already know where to go outside and go potty, which is great. Um, the one that I wanted, her name is Annie, A-N-N-E-I-G-H. So we're really thrilled that we could find siblings for Marley. And I think it's going to be a great fit. It takes time. Yeah. You know, it's only been a couple of hours. That's why I'm late, <laughs> but I wanted to come on here and do a project. And my neighbors are probably going to come down while I'm doing this. So there might be like noise out there. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Okay, let me see who's here. <laughs> you guys, let me see who's here. All right. So hi, Betty. How are you? Hi, Tammy. Hi, Holly. Hi, Mary Lee. Hello, Bridget. Hi, Karen West. Hi, Carrie. I got your coffee. Thank you so much. Carrie sent me coffee. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited to try it. So thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. That was so sweet of you. Hi, Cheryl. How are you? Hi, Laura. Hi, Janine. Thanks for sprinkling, Laura. I know, Cheryl. It is exciting. I, I, I haven't even shared pictures with anybody except for my sister. That's all. Um, hi, Jill. <laughs> Judy, I'll show you in just a moment here. Um, hi, Stephanie. Um, we do have, yeah, we have the names picked out, Annie and Riley. Okay, perfect. Hi, um, hi, Shelly. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Janelle. Hi, Darlene. Oh, uh, that was so sweet of you, Carrie. I appreciate that. Okay, I think that the photos probably have uploaded to my, my, uh, my sky. Let's see. Did they? Oh, maybe they didn't. Okay, so I might have to show you from my phone. Sorry. I hate it when I have to do that, but... Um, it looks like they did not upload. Why didn't they upload? Come on. <laughs> my my account doesn't always link. Okay, so I have pictures on my phone. Thank you. Hi, Maria. How are you? I am so excited for, I'm so excited for Marley to have a friend. It just really, you know, it's, it, <laughs> it just makes a huge difference. So let me see if I can show you. I'll post pictures. I really don't, yeah, I, you know, I I just can't, um, let me just put this down here. Let's do this so that you can actually see it when I hold it up to it. Okay, so this one is my sweet little girl. This is Annie. Check out that face. Check out that face. Isn't she just so cute? So that's Annie. So Annie is four months old. Okay, so we just got them today. So there's Annie. Okay, and then, wrong way. <laughs> This one, this one is the one my husband wanted that has one brown eye and one blue eye. Sorry. Um, this one is Riley. And she's she's a little shy. She's a little shy, but she's very unique. So, um, oh, Riley. That, oh, that's really cool. Your daughter's name is Riley. That's awesome. I love being able to do that, to, to use, um, use it like that. So they are precious. And we're really excited to be able to expand our family. And, 
It doesn't mean that we're, you know, and you guys know that. So you know my heart. You know my heart. Uh, we're not replacing Chloe at all. We're actively looking for her with the mindset now that she is in someone's house, that somebody has her and that they're just not wanting to give her up um, because she is such a good dog. So, so that's our mindset at this point. I'm not accepting that she's passed away or anything like that. I really honestly don't feel like she has. I feel like she's out there somewhere. So I know, aren't they just the cutest? Oh my gosh. So they're just out there chilling all the way home. Okay, so it, it was, um, it took us two and a half hours to get up there, but only an hour and a half to get back. They were quiet as can be. We put them in a little metal kennel in the back of the car and they were just so good, just so good. So we didn't have any issues at all. There, let me put myself, there we go. There I am. <laughs> I know, aren't they just the sweetest? I just love them. Okay, um, let's get started though. So this, I like I said, I think this is the same one that was a size B. I, I'll have to look in my drawer, but we're gonna put it on here. Um, we're just going to do it in black. I think it will be really nice for my craft shows. I love that I can do things like this. I don't have room in my house for this, but somebody will have room. There's a lot of people that decorate that have tons of room. I don't have a ton of wall space. Um, okay, so hopefully this works. This is buttercream. Okay, it's equivalent to light buttermilk. Okay, so I'm just going to put a coat of this on here. I might water it down a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't, the reason I don't want to water it down, I'll tell you guys, is because it's going to take longer to dry. So let's see if I can get this coated without, <laughs> without too much effort here. So I do have the things coming up with the tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow let's do some of the February kit. I just couldn't get to it today. I thought this will be easy. And then I'm like, oh no, I have to paint that board. <laughs> so I cut this board. This board is a 24 inch wide by 18 inch long. I cut this on my laser and I scored it so that it looks like um, shiplap. So I wanted it to kind of look like an old fence board. Um, I might have to spray just a little bit. Let's see if I can do this. I'm kind of getting it, aren't I? And then I'm gonna dry it and then I will do some dry brushing, okay? So I'll do some dry brushing on here and then we'll just use our black chalk paste. We don't need to use a whole bunch of chalk paste and the black will be just fine. So, so one thing about the puppies, guys, is that we immediately had to give them a bath. I'm sad to say that the puppies did have fleas and so when on the on the ride home, I door dashed um, flea shampoo, <laughs> and the first thing I did was I brought them in one by one and gave them a bath. They were at the vet this morning. The owner, the the breeder, um, had taken them to the vet this morning and got the pill for fleas, but there were still some fleas on them, so I didn't want them in my house. And it's, you know, it's a lot easier to actually find the fleas when they're wet like that, and you can part their hair, at least with these dogs it was. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. So, hey, Meg, how are you? I know, I love this board. If you're local, you can pick one up for me. I cannot ship this board because <laughs> I can only imagine how much it would cost to ship this board. I think it would be a fortune. Okay, so let's dry. And then we're gonna use a black, um, we're gonna use black on a paintbrush, on a chippy brush, and we're gonna do a little bit of chippy, like, or like some dry brushing. So, anyway, so we are still actively, actively searching for Chloe as far as believing that she's actually with somebody at this point because. She hasn't shown up out in the dunes and there's been plenty of people out there that should have seen her as well as us. Um, we're just believing that somebody actually has her and at some point their friend, their neighbor, their cousin is going to see, the, see her and we've been discussing putting a reward on her and people are motiva motivated by that. If they see that their neighbor got a brand new dog and, and, the, and you know, people pick dogs up and think, oh, this dog is just a stray. I'm going to take it home and I'm going to give it a better life. Well, if they do that and they never take it in and have it scanned, then no one ever knows that it was actually somebody else's dog. But if a neighbor has a heads up and sees this posted on their local 
um, Lost Dog website on Facebook, that, and a lot of people are on it, people share it. That's the thing about, people are really great about sharing things like that. I've noticed because my friend that's helping me out, she is just, she's just an advocate for um, helping find lost dogs. I didn't know her before this, and I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. How can I ever repay you? And she has shared and shared and shared all of the posters to all of these pages, and then those people are sharing. So you have one person sharing to all the pages, and then a dozen people sharing from that page. So it's still out there. We, we want to get our Chloe back, but in the meantime, for Marley's mental health, she has to have a friend. So, okay, we're almost dry. <laughs> it, this is a lot to dry. I'm glad that I didn't add water to it, guys. I'm glad I didn't. And then I also have to have it completely dry in order to, to um, chalk on it. Okay, I'm gonna sand it just a little bit. It's kind of kind of rough. You took your daughter driving for the first time today. She did good, but <laughs> it was nerve wracking. Oh my gosh, I bet it was nerve wracking. That is so crazy. <laughs> I I remember doing that. See, we had we had a great parking lot at the high school over here that I was able to take my kids to and practice on the weekend. And then also, you know what? They kind of got to they got to drive out in the sand dunes. They would get to drive the buggies and the quads. They they were kind of used to it with that. So, and another thing that I used to do because my car was a stick shift and my kids wanted to know how to how to drive a stick shift so i would have them um shift for me so i would i would push in the clutch and i go okay first gear and then i push in the clutch and i go okay um second gear you know i would have them actually shift while i drove <laughs> sometimes it was a little crazy but it seemed to work really well so they were able to kind of know the sound because you know it's kind of a sound when you're shifting um, they kind of got used to it that way. Okay, so let's do some dry brushing. Um, you're in Long Beach. Oh, you're in Long Beach. See, um, yeah, if you're ever down this way, you can come grab one. <laughs> I'm sorry. So another thing you can do, guys, is I've seen people putting these onto, um, onto canvases. You can get a canvas this size at Hobby Lobby or at Michael's. So it's 18 inches by 24 inches because this transfers the huge one. Okay, let's do some dry brushing on here with, should we use black or gray? I'm kind of looking at it going, maybe I want to use gray. I'm, I'm changing my mind. So I'm going to use gray on this because I kind of feel like that would be better. Do you guys, do you guys agree? Tell me if you agree that I should use gray instead of black for the dry brushing. Um, let me know. Do you think I should use gray or black? Maybe black would be. Hmm. I'm like trying to decide. Okay. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> Let me take a breath for a second. Okay. Um, I, th I think, okay, anybody have an opinion? Oh, that's, that's runny. You don't want to put that on there. Gray or black? Gray? Gray? Yeah. Okay, gray. Okay. <laughs> so you're going to put some, some paint into a little thing. I don't even need that much. And then you're gonna grab a paper towel and you're gonna put a little bit of this onto your brush, okay? And then we're gonna put most of it off. Um, gray, yeah, yeah, gray, okay, perfect. I thought so too. Thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so the puppies seem very healthy, but you know, of course, I'm gonna take them to my vet right away. And if I can't get them into my vet, then I'll take them to another vet. I, we have a couple of vets right around here that I really trust. Okay, get most of that off. And then you're going to dry brush. You want to go in one direction. So I'm going to go across because these lines going across. And I want a lot up on the corners. I definitely want a lot up on the corners. So I'm going to just go like this and get some here and there. And... You don't want it so dark that you can't see the letters. I'm doing everything in black, but you want to put some on here, kind of pull that to the side, and then let's put some in the center. I'm just making fast little wispy type uh, motions. I got way too much up in that corner, but I want to put a few more areas that are kind of dark like that. So let me just do this. So let's try to get more around the edges. So let me see, try to get more around my edges 
And then a little bit more in the center. So another thing you can do is you can go to Hobby Lobby on the clearance area. Take your measuring tape with you. Nobody's going to think you're weird. Okay, people take their measuring tape to the sewing area. So take your measuring tape and measure a board. And yes, transfer is available on the 6th. So this is one of the new ones. I was able to get it with the release um, because I, I was able to order early. I don't have extras of this one I because I, I didn't think to ex order extra because the fact that um, it, it's so big. So you really have to have a place for it. So this is a size E transfer. I think they're 43 now, is that right? Let me take a look and see. <laughs> I wanna tell you. So it'll be available on the 6th, which is Tuesday. The new release comes. So I like to kind of show you these things because guys, um, if you want to order it, you will be able to order it on Tuesday. So let me look and see. $43. I think I think size E or $43. But you can go to Hobby Lobby. You could get your surface on clearance for, say, $10. Bucks. I'm sure you can. Okay, let me just go here. I'm going to look and see because guess what? I don't remember. <laughs> I, the last time that I looked, I think, I believe they are... And do we have any? Yes, $43. Okay, Darlene was right. Okay, um, that's a surprise. Okay, so what you're gonna do, guys, you're gonna take this, this is all dry, okay, everything's dry. You're gonna take off the backer sheet and put it right on here. So go ahead and start peeling it up. Now, remember, the, the side that it's gonna go back on is not the yellow side. When you put this back on to go wash it, um, you are gonna put it on the other side. So just get a corner loose. Here's an easy way to do it. Guys, if you have a big transfer like this and you don't have a helper, peel it halfway up like this, and then you're gonna flip this over, okay? So flip it over like this, and then peel that off. And then you can get it get it um, situated, okay? So that's gonna go to the side. Now you're just gonna kind of pull this up and get some air underneath of it. I just kind of get some air under it and drag it into place okay and then I am going to get all my air bubbles out okay so a good way to do that is start from the center and go out okay and then I have this big squeegee here who has the squeegee who has the four inch handled squeegee anybody um not a lot of people probably but and you know what this is not exactly it's a little bit off on the side it's okay so four inch handled squeegee is great for these things you don't have to have it but I'm going to tell you, it's going to make this easy. And I'm going to be able to do probably this entire thing without having to peel. And all I'm doing right now is I'm pressing this down, getting all my air bubbles out. Okay, so I don't want air bubbles. All right. Um, does Marley seem excited? Marley is a little frightened. <laughs> Marley is a little frightened. So she's kind of hesitant. Um, she actually is... Um, she keeps jumping up on the couch. So we just have to give it time. We just have to give it time. Oh, you have that one. Oh, yeah. I See, I, lo I love this one. For pillows, this is great, too. When you're going to do pillows, it is perfect. Um, so let me see. Oh, the squeegee. Yeah. So, the, so it's really good. Let me see. Were they on sale? They were on sale recently. Um, I don't know if they're still on sale. Let me look for you. There are some things on sale. There's some good stuff on sale, guys. Make sure you check all that out, like the last chance. Um, but let me see what accessories. Um, let me see the price. And, okay. Oh, returning soon. They're in a right now. Okay, so I might have some um, out there. It uh, looks like $20 is the price. So it's worth it, but... You don't have to have it. You can use a smaller one. You can use a small squeegee. If you're going to use a small one, do part of it. Chalk and peel, chalk and peel, chalk and peel, okay? So I'm going to be able to do this entire thing, I think. Let's do half of it. So let's, maybe we'll just, we should just do half and peel. So plop some of your chalk paste down and we'll kind of play it by ear. I think I might be able to do the whole thing. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. A lot of times, too, some of it will gather on the underside. So I usually have a squeegee waiting for me to um, just use to get it out from the underneath part, if that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm just going to pull down 
And I'm gonna get all this filled. I think we can do the whole thing. Honestly, look how easy this is. So um, if you haven't used the four inch handle squeegee, guys, you need to get one. <laughs> they make life so much easier when you're doing all one color, okay? So if you're doing other colors, then you're gonna want to get, um, you're gonna wanna use smaller ones. But honestly, for something like this, it's gonna be really quick. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be able to do the whole thing. I'm gonna keep going. I am just gonna, and look at, this is what I meant by that chalk paste gathers underneath. Let's scooch this up so you can see the bottom now. Um, that chalk paste goes underneath, so I'm just gonna get that off of there, and I'm just gonna spread it right there, and we're just gonna keep going. So you probably have to do that a couple of times. Um, you're just gonna get it off the underneath part, and keep going keep going and I don't want it to go down on my board so <laughs> I'm going to be really careful here on the corner I might even get that little squeegee but I do I, I team up with a smaller squeegee to kind of help me okay now this all this here all this goodness can go right back into your jar okay so go ahead and scrape off all the excess now go all the way down and stop <laughs> Okay, you want it to be as smooth as possible, but it's starting to dry. It's almost time to peel. I'm going to do this quickly. You might, if you're not experienced, you might want to do half of it and peel it up in half and then peel it up. Okay, all right, so we're ready to take that off. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I can't wait to see it. I'm going to put this over here and move my squeegee. And then I'm just going to grab my, my top part and I'm going to peel down. I'm going to make sure everything went through. So, so get those corners loose and then I'm going to go from the center. I usually will just go from the center and peel down. Look at this, guys. This is gorgeous. Check this out. And then I'm just going to stick my finger in an area that does not have chalk paste on it. Look at how cute that is. That is so cute. Holy cow, that was so easy. <laughs> okay, now you don't want this to fold on itself like it just did, but just gently peel it. And then I'm gonna plop it over here. I'll show you. I actually need to turn my um, need to turn my paper over my backer sheet. So make sure you don't put it on the yellow side. And I'll show you what I did. I'm just gonna plop it right onto my onto my um, backer okay so I just plopped it right under there I'll take it to my kitchen sink my kitchen sink's big if you don't have a big kitchen sink you can just put it into your bathtub <laughs> some people put it in their shower okay I'm grabbing a Clorox wipe because look at my fingers I'm a little messy but look how cute that turned out that turned out so cute let me go a little bit smaller so you can see the whole thing come on you can do it it's not wanting to go <laughs> <laughs> okay there we go let me move myself out of the way oh my goodness here there we go so you can see the whole thing okay let me grab a Clorox wipe because my fingers are a mess but look at how easy it was to make that I would not do more than one at once I would do one wash it and while it's drying you prop your next surface you could make a bunch of these to sell Okay, so the investment that you make in your transfers should be equal to what you're gonna use them for. If you're gonna use them for gifts or for, for yourself and you just love it, that's absolutely fine. But, but if you are making stuff for craft shows, think about how many would you make? I probably would make four of these and I would sell every single one of them. I, I really love this, I think it's adorable. And the colors are perfect, aren't they perfect? <laughs> it's more beautiful in real life than the kid. Yes, yes, absolutely. It is. It, okay, so I've got my hands clean, finally. Isn't that great? I love this. Judy, I wish I was doing your show because I bring I bring a dozen of them and they would all sell at your show because they're kind of, um, they're kind of the stuff that your people love. Okay, let me dry it because I don't want to touch it. And it's almost dry. It will, it will continue to dry on its own. But I know how I am. I know that I touch things and I mess them up sometimes. <laughs> so I'm just going to help it out and finish drying it. 
also, if you have a helper, you could have a helper that was um, that was spreading the chalk paste on one part of this, and then you could do the other part, and then you could have a helper that helped you peel it back. Honestly, yeah, you could get a whole bunch of these done in one day. So, all right. So $43 for that transfer. It'll be available on Tuesday. And then go to your Hobby Lobby. They're the best for the big um, surfaces. Okay, honestly, they have big surfaces and a lot of times they'll be $10 because they have them 90% off. Um, yeah, you might have to buy one. <laughs> Hi, Sarah, how are you? Okay, I'm gonna show you the puppies again then because everybody didn't, didn't get to see. Isn't this great? I love this. Let me put you up to myself. Okay, so, so my news and my reason that I was late today was that we went up to la area up actually up to compton look at how big this is okay this is how big it is it's that big it's a it's 18 by 24 it's fabulous so we went up to compton and we found um a friend for miss marley and we actually found two friends <laughs> yeah imagine that imagine that okay so i i kind of thought that was going to happen because the fact that i liked one and my husband liked the, I liked another, and we're like, okay. And we talked about it before. Would it be terrible if we actually did get two? Because we used to have five, remember? We had Molly and Bailey and George and Lacey and Mr. Stubby. So Mr. Stubby is the last of those. And he's not doing that well. He's coughing a lot lately. We're just going to let him be comfortable and if at some point it seems like he's not doing well then we'll make the decision but he's doing great so far but his legs give out he'll be running and his legs just splay out the poor little thing <laughs> i just don't know i don't know about him it kind of looks like he might have had a stroke sometimes he's walking sideways i there's nothing we can do about it we're just going to love on him and keep him safe and make sure that he knows he's loved but miss marley miss marley's got to have a little adjustment to her new sisters but she can hop up on the couch the the puppies are four months old so they're not babies which is great um i think they're gonna sleep through the night because they slept all the way home let me show you pictures again let me show you <laughs> does um tour, tour company have a limit no um they i don't know maybe they might <laughs> they might have i think it i think the limit is uh five i think that I think that limit was five and it doesn't count um it doesn't count <laughs> laugh. Kimberly, you're making me laugh. I know I'm dying. Well, at least I didn't get him at Hobby Lobby this time, huh? Um, I think I think five is the limit, but it does not include puppies because puppies don't stay. Okay, puppies leave. So um, let me just put you. What do I want to do here? I want to show you the puppies again. So I'm gonna go to my go to my phone because it hasn't uploaded to that, so I can't show you from there. So. Um, this one is my sweet Annie, A-N-N-E-I-G-H, my sweet Annie. Okay, so that's her, and she's tiny. She's tiny like Marley, okay? And then this one is Riley, and Riley's a lot larger and more shy like Chloe was, so <laughs> that's so funny. I, I love it. I love you guys. <laughs> And you know, you know that I can take it because I, hey, I will go wherever I have to go to find my fur babies, honestly. And they they are AKC registered, which was crazy. And she is the lady that I got them from. She's, she's really sweet. Um, it is, it is like a multi-generational home that they live in. And that's very common in that area. But she's actually, she's actually a CPA. <laughs> And she's so busy with taxes right now, but she made an exception for us to come up today. And um, I mean, she not, she drove a BMW and it was really, really nice. And she seemed really sweet. I looked her up on the AKC um, registered website to make sure that she's legit and all of that. So everything is legit with the puppies, but we were a little bit nervous going up there because Compton, Compton is one of the areas that is like a uh, high high rate for murders so you know I went you know I went armed <laughs> you know I did well I had my taser so anyways I we we are so happy 
with our little babies and I'm going to go back out there. First thing I did, like I said, I gave them baths because they did have fleas. They're in a, they're in an environment. There were a lot of dogs in there. Um, the mom and the dad, so mom and dad, and then there were seven puppies, seven puppies. And then they had a terrier, like a, like a, some type of a terrier. Um, so in the whole, in the house, <laughs> <laughs> in the house there were 10 dogs so yeah the fleas if if one dog has fleas then all of them are going to have it so they had got the pill this morning already and then I gave them the bath a bath and and picked through the hair before they even got down on my on my floor <laughs> all right guys so that's it for today isn't it lovely I just absolutely love this one I think it turned out fabulous and look how easy it was. I took a board and I painted it. So when you get boards at Hobby Lobby, you're going to sand it down a little bit because you really, or take, um, what is that stuff that you can take? Uh, it's a powder that you mix, that you clean walls with. Um, it takes, it's like a degreaser. It will also take off the top layer so that you can easily paint something. Otherwise you need to prime it so that the color doesn't keep coming through or sand it a little bit, but go to Hobby Lobby, look for surfaces, take your measuring tape, I'm not kidding you, take your measuring tape, pull it out of your purse, and measure it so you don't go, oh, I think this will fit, and then you get home and it doesn't, because they're going to have surfaces that are uh, are the proper surfaces, and they're going to have them in the, in the clearance area, I promise, they always do. I go down the clearance Aisle and I'm like, how do they always have all these clearance things for 90% off? And so you can get something like this for 10 bucks or have your husband or at Home Depot, have them cut you a board that is 18 inches by 24 inches. Or if you're here, have Darlene do it for you. I would be happy to do it and have you do porch pickup. <laughs> okay, guys, we are going to, I'm going to go out and I'm going to play. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, do they eat hard food? Yes, they are already on hard food. They are four months old. So they are they are running and pooping and peeing and all that. They went outside. I know. I, I just feel, I feel like we did the right thing for Marley. Um, four weeks, four months, four months. Sorry, did I say four weeks? Um, it's four months. I'm so sorry. Four months old, um, not four weeks. Yeah, <laughs> I said the wrong thing. Your daughter used to uh, taught high school up there. Oh, Judy, I bet that was scary. Borax. Borax would work. Yes, thank you so much. Borax would be perfect. Lowe's has them pre-cut. Ah, all right. Go to Lowe's to get your surface, okay? Do what I did. Base coat it. Get the, okay, so at Lowe's, when you go to Lowe's, get the chippy brush. Okay. So they have these brushes. They're like 99 cents or a dollar 19. Okay. So these are the chippy brushes that we use. Get one over in their paint area. They're the cheapest brush that you can find. Sometimes when you're using it, the little bristles come out because they're so cheap. Um, yeah. So, so go get you one. And if you love this one, um, or if you want to sell them because I think this will be so cute on a wall with all the Easter stuff. I just, I just love it. And I actually want to do the other one. Okay, so now that I saw this one, I think I need to make a matching pair. Let me show you the other one. This is the large one. It's right here. So it goes the other direction. Okay, so, so I think that I should do a one that goes the other that that is also black and white to match don't you think don't you think i need to do the matching one with this can you see it let me put you down to the okay so so here here okay that's sideways all right <laughs> all right so here's this one this is the other one that's the same size i think i need to do matching to go next to it don't you think i think i do i think i need to do it exactly like that one and have it match. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Okay, thank you, Tammy, for telling me that I didn't know that they had them that size. Okay, all right, so we'll do this next week at some point, <laughs> and I'll have matching ones. Maybe we'll put them up here on the wall. I'm just going to stick this back here for now, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go out there and rescue John. My hubby is, um, he's babysitting all the puppies. <laughs> I'm going to go out there and, and help Marley through this. So she just needs to get down and play and get used to her sisters. But for her, 
um, she was just getting so depressed. You know, we will never replace Chloe, but what we have to do is distract her a little bit so that she's not just sitting at the front door waiting and waiting and waiting for her sister to come home because that could take a while. It could take a while. And when it does happen, we are going to shout hallelujah as loud as possible. And you guys will be the second people. I'll tell all my family first, and then you guys will be the second people that I know. All right, let me see if there's any questions here. <laughs> you, th you think you misunderstood? Yes. Um, four months. Yes. Oh, it's okay, Cheryl. But I could easily have said the wrong thing for sure. <laughs> Tomorrow you're going to be experimenting making your own trim for frames. Oh, have fun. Oh my gosh. I bet that's going to be really, really cute. Yes, Lisa. She was definitely grieving. Oh, it sounds like my neighbor's here. Okay. I heard the knock on the door. So I'm going to go. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do some of the um, February kit. Yeah, it's my neighbor's. <laughs> All right. Bye guys.